you were ninja. Hey everybody, it's Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. I am continuing our coverage here of the RSA Conference 2012 in San Francisco. We have spoken with a bunch of great exhibitors and businesses today about various topics. Network infrastructure security was one of the topics and that's what we're going to cover in this episode. Now Bill here is a security solutions architect for Cisco. Bill, hi. hi. What can you tell us about network infrastructure security? Well, the network is really that platform that touches everything that you're worried about on your environment, right? Every device that you need to concerned about, every data stream that you're worried about, every user really touches the network. And so Cisco's position is that the network is the ideal footprint for your security. And so what the network is able to do is it knows what apps you're running, it knows what your traffic looks like, it knows what those things, you know, all what's happening in that environment, and it's able to take that information and push it into our security devices. And so now our the security solutions themselves become very network aware. And that provides you with a, a much uh, much higher visibility and a lot more control over what's happening in your environment. So Sanjay here is the group product manager for Barracuda Networks and he's going to tell us about, a little bit about web security. So um, at RSA this year, we're focusing on what's called dynamic content security. It's about helping organizations uh, deal with some of the emerging uh, challenges as far as content security is concerned. You know, it's mobility, dispersion, and web 2.0 are three of our major themes this year. Uh, dispersion uh, may, meaning that networks are just getting more and more distributed. You're not dealing with one network anymore. You know, IT administrators have to protect headquarters, branch offices, satellite offices. There's people off network, people on laptops. Uh, throwing mobility into the mix just makes is even more complicated. I mean, people have you know, iPhones and iPads and Android devices, um, and you have to secure all these devices. It's not enough to secure a single network, a monolithic network anymore. You have to secure people on the network, off the network. Uh, you have to provide safe access to social media, which is a big thing. I mean, social media and web auto applications have pretty much changed the way people interact with, with the internet. You know, the browser is a very rich collaboration tool right now. Uh, the problem is, once you open the door to these social media, web auto applications, you're also opening the door to all the bad stuff that comes with it. You, know, you provide access to Facebook, you have employees playing games on Facebook from the workplace. You provide access to LinkedIn, you have people looking for jobs using LinkedIn. So it's important from a content security perspective to provide that level of granular social media regulation, provide visibility into what people are doing over social media channels, you know, what types of things people are posting on Facebook, what types of content people are tweeting about. So you can provide safe access to Web2.0. You know, arguably, it's a productive and beneficial tool for enterprises. At the same time, have the right checks and balances in place to, to make sure bad stuff doesn't happen uh, on, this, on this channel. What, what it's about is being able to protect the users within your network um, and, and protecting your network from the activities that your users uh, may be doing. So uh, what we do and what our app, what our firewall does is that it gives, um, it gives the network admin an, an opportunity to essentially um, have more control over the application usage within their network. So for example, um, I like to normally use the, the Facebook example. So um, for example, in the old stateful firewall, what, asked, what used to happen is you had to either allow Facebook or deny Facebook overall. So now what we're doing is we're saying, um, you know what, that doesn't scale. That's not reality in a current corporate network. So within a current corporate network, maybe marketing needs to have access to firewall, to, to uh, um, Facebook and Twitter and things like that, but, but maybe engineering doesn't need to have access to that. So, so what we've done is, is, is we've given an opportunity to the network admin, to firewall admin, uh, the security admin to say, I want to have, um, I want to create application rules, excuse me, rules based on application control to say, I want this group of people to have access to these different types of applications and this type of people to have, um, app, excuse me, to have uh, use of these other type of applications. But further, we have application control within a given application. So Facebook is an interesting application because it allows for, for Facebook posting, you've got mail, you've got chat, you've got games, you've got, you can actually do all those different types of things. So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, maybe you're okay with everyone using Facebook, but you're afraid of the some of the malware that can come from the games and, and, and the external applications within Facebook. So you have the opportunity as a network admin to block 
the games portion of Facebook, but allow the rest. So I think at the end of the day, we're giving application control and visibility um, like, like no one else has done before. Nice. So it's not cut and dry, yes or no. You Correct. get into it deeper. Absolutely. Um, mobile device protection is another big area uh, for us. I mean, mobile devices everywhere. I mean, the, the, the problem with, with mobility is the line between what's personal computing versus business computing is changing quite rapidly. I mean, everybody has a, a tablet or an iPhone or an Android device or whatever. Uh, so it's important for organizations now to protect users and these devices, even when they're off the network. So that's another area where we've, we've um, uh, come up with agents that can protect laptops, which are off the network. Uh, we have a solution for uh, tablets, for iPads, and for Android devices. Uh, so even when they're taken off the network or using their own um, internet connections, we can make sure that these devices are secure, the users are secure. Hey, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you guys have some good solutions for these problems. Absolutely. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com. Forging IT security experts. No!